Welcome to the Weekly Well. Today I'd like to begin a, a short three-part series on some of the difficult sayings of Jesus. In Matthew 5 and verse 48, we have recorded here where Jesus is telling those who are listening to him that they are to be perfect as their heavenly Father is perfect. Seems like an incredibly lofty goal. How is it that we can be perfect? Does Jesus not know that we're still sinful human beings in a state of, of being made perfect, and yet we're clearly not there? The Greek word that is used here that's translated as perfect is the Greek word teleos, and it carries with it uh, being brought to full completion. Maybe that gives us a bit of a hint, but I'm not sure that that really is super helpful yet. Jesus knows we're not perfect. How is it that we can be perfect? How can he demand that we be perfect as our Heavenly Father is perfect? Well, the InterVarsity Press commentary on this passage, on this verse here, talks about Jesus, rather than demanding a result from us, is more setting a goal for us more of an idea that we ought to reflect the perfection that is already there, and that's the perfection that God has. We are not God, we're not perfect like God, but we are to be reflectors of His perfection. As we do that, others see God, not us. They begin to worship God, not us. And they recognize that the one who can save them, the one who is perfect, is the one who they need to lean on, not us. And so as you go through each day, maybe try and, and, and do that. Be a reflector of the perfection of God. Be one who displays the God that you serve, His character, His characteristics, His love, joy, peace, and patience, and all of those others, other characteristics of the Holy Spirit. That is what we are called to reflect. That is what Jesus is saying to his followers here. Be reflectors of your perfect Savior. God bless you, and thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week.